Hi, welcome to the Boyt Life. Today we're going to talk about fact checks or fact checkers. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to the Boyt Life. This is Life with Rick and Marta, where we will be discussing practically anything, any subject. It, it it just really isn't off limits. We are expressing our views, opinions, and thoughts on various subjects. And it could be good, bad, or anything in between. Okay, so that's what's up with the boy life. And let me uh, point out this disclaimer. The views expressed on this channel may or may not be 100% factual. Anything goes, so have fun, and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Well, it's a term that you hadn't probably heard, uh, you know, for many, many of your years until, you know, the last, you know, decade sometime it's, it's been out there used constantly, you know, fact checking, facts checkers, et cetera, et cetera. And, I, and I'm not going to mention any sites, but who says that they know what they're talking about? And that's not all, only our opinion. It's a, a lot of people's opinion <laughs> that a lot of people use fact checking when you say something and they don't agree. Notice that that's when they use a fact checker, not when they say something. Because when they don't agree with what you say, they're going to go say, well, I'm going to check that out. And so they'll go to their favorite fact checker site, which can be, and this is the truth, a liberal site or a Republican site and check the facts. Well, the fact checkers are biased. So they're going to look for anything that will back that fact up. The, the way they want they it to want go. They want it to go. You know, that's why I was wondering, how do we know that they're, you know, uh, the fact checkers, who, who's paying them and what way do they lean? And so they're getting paid to, you know, say, now, this is not right. Th this isn't a fact. That's, that's wrong. And maybe it isn't. But they're being paid for that. It's just like during, you know, the riots, we read a number of places that people saw buses of people being bussed into some place and let off the bus that joined that uh, crowd and were part of the riot or protest or whatever. Uh, you know, again, oh, somebody's going to fact check me and say, no, that's not true. And they well, find out that they, oh, they'll, they had facts. Oh, they, that didn't really happen. Okay, it's on film. And so how can a fact checker say that didn't happen when it's on film? And my thing is what I told Marta. I said, when you're, you make a statement and somebody doesn't agree, they're going to look around to find somebody who agrees with them. That's not fact checking. That's just looking for somebody that supports the statement that you make. So that can be happen. That can happen to anybody. That can happen to the person who makes the statement. They can find something that supports their statement, or they can find something that is against their statement. It's called debate 101. Oh, debate. Yeah. It's like, we we were watching uh, something on um, uh, like the in the Senate or some some kind of thing, and one person came on and they talked about you know 
or one side of an argument. And then the next one came on. They told a whole different story on their side, you know, to try to support their point of view. Well, I took debate in school. I know that a lot of times uh, how they taught us was we would have a subject and we would have to try to convince people, you know, we, we'd, uh, you're going to be on this side and you're going to be on that side. That's kind of how they did it, of, of a debate. And you convince people, you know, your, your job is to convince them th to this point of view. And the other... Uh, your job is to convince them of that point of view. And that's a debate. And then you'll get graded on that and that kind of thing. The, the thing we were watching was the uh, they were questioning the head of the FBI about uh, is the FBI even uh, truthful anymore? And why do, have, why do they bring cases against certain people and not other people? And how, how justice has gone awry? And they were questioning well, the Republicans came on and they gave all these facts of cases saying that, why didn't you uh, uh, go after these people when you went after these people? And, so, the and then he answered. And then the Democrat came on and said, well, why didn't he go after Trump? And, and why he went after Trump? He should have went after Trump because of these facts. And then the Republicans came back and says, but that's that you, here's these other people that did the same thing and you didn't go after them. And so it's just a, a, a it was just like what I told Marta. It was just like a debate class, mm -hmm. you know, that here's this one side, here's the other side. And we've said this many times and I keep saying it, there has to be a middle, there has to be there is no give or take. No, no there is no. no. They, they, you're, you're, you're either they, over here or over here. Well, the government isn't made to, to work that way. The government is here. And we no, are so far apart yeah. that we never get here. So who do you want to believe? And who, as, as Americans, what we have to do is we have to muddle through all the sift. muck and mud try to and try to get it. through what the truth really is. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're not going to get it. You know, you know, you're going to have to sift and sift and find out for yourself from different sources what might be the truth. So instead of relying on fact checkers who you don't, I don't think we can trust. Well, no, and you don't know them. You don't know where these things came from. I personally don't trust any fact checkers, and I prefer to hear from a number of sources. If I can find a number of different sources that say the same thing, I tend to believe that or some of the stuff that I can see, because what I can see is the law is good for you. How does that go? It's different for you, you than, than it is than for someone for else. Me. Yeah. Or something like that. I, you know. it's, it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> how some of the politicians that we have, they can get away with things that we could never get oh, away with. Never. And they can, you know, it, it, it's, it's just amazing that uh, things that people get away with that the normal citizen would be in jail for a long time. And so we got to change that. We got to change where the law is the law, no matter where you are in society. No matter who you are. And no, no matter who you are in society. But and I And just because like... you can get a bunch of lawyers to find a little loophole to get you out where somebody else who can't afford that lawyer goes to jail, that has to change. Well, I, I personally, um, oh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, that's all right. Uh, they always say if you can't remember it, it wasn't important. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. Well, some <laughs> people would age, think a lot think of so. things we uh, say is uh, not important. Uh, but I know one thing I would like to know is, what do you think? How do you feel about this? Do you really trust um, 
of course, you know, do you trust everything you see and hear on the news? Do you check out different places and different things and, and actually listen with uh, a mind that says, hmm, you know, you have to make up your own mind, but you have to be open you're, you know, and really listening and watching and stuff. We have to be vigilant because I'll tell you what, I just don't think that whatever we think anymore is important. I think we're losing a lot of our rights. And, and that's uh, why our channel, because and so we're, we we're want saying to hear your thoughts. we're just normal American citizens expressing, expressing our ourselves. opinions so we don't they don't just shut you up. You, you have to express your opinion. You have to show them that we care, not that we're just complacent and letting things go. And also, one thing I, I want to bring up, fact check the fact checkers. So if you think that, oh, well, these are good fact checkers, we researched some of these fact checkers and mm -hmm. we found out yeah. where they are, yeah. they are supported. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. Well, so anyway, mo as most of you know, there are only three or four big conglomerates that own practically everything, um, and that's BlackRock, Vanguard, uh, what's the other one? I don't know. You. There's at least one more, and maybe there's four, I don't know, but I, when you look into these places, they own this, they own that, you know, it's, it's, they are really in, in charge of this. I mean, they might be different companies and corporations under this big umbrella and you need to check that out. And find out where you're getting your information <laughs> because they own a lot of the news things. Media. News Me media. Be, um, and, and, uh, you gotta, you gotta. Just think for yourselves. That's Network, what we're saying. Me, uh, thing. But yeah, please, uh, we would appreciate it if, if you like the video, if you uh, like it, um, which is, is that hitting a thumbs up? Yeah, thumbs oh, up. Okay. And comment. Uh, comment. Please we, don't comment. Don't be afraid to comment and, and, uh, and tell us your views. Maybe some of it. you are afraid to comment, but we, we can't be afraid. Yep. I, I just saw... Jim Cavazell, um, on a uh, uh, enter on an interview, or he was talking, and he said, you know, especially we Christians cannot, you know, be afraid be, and be of, silent. Of that, we you can't know, be silent because uh, that is something that that we need to pay attention to. We need to speak out. Anyway. Um, Please subscribe and follow us. And remember, YouTube is free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It's free. All you have to do is be, you know, signed in to, into your YouTube. And uh, that's where I get a lot of information from different sources. And it's, it's worth it. So if you do like us, subscribe to us. We have a lot of different videos. Watch us and comment. We'll see you down the line. That's it for today. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching us. Bye. Goodbye.